Let's do a bunch more of these addition problems. So let's say I have 9,367 plus 2,459. So we can do this the exact same way we've done in the last few videos. We start in the ones place, or you can even think of it as the ones column. So you're going to add the seven ones plus the nine ones. So you're going to have seven plus nine, which we hopefully know by now, is 16. So what we do is we write the six in the ones place, and we carry the one. So if this one, let me switch code. If this one is going to be the same thing as that one right there. And this might look like a little bit of a mystery or magic. And the whole reason we did that is that this is the tens place. And when you write 16, you have six ones and one ten. If you view this as money, how would what's the best way to get $16 in a world where there weren't $5 bills, where you only had $1 bills, $10 bills, $100 bills, and so on? Only, only multiples of 10. And we don't have any $5 bills. In that world, you would represent 16 as one $10 bill. One ten dollar bill, just like that, and then six one dollar bills. Let me. So that's two one dollar bills. That's two more one dollar bills, and then that's two more one dollar bills. And so sixteen is. So I, the whole reason why I'm drawing it this way, why I'm even using this analogy or, or drawing the dollar bills, is to show you what these places mean. When I say, when I tell you. When I say that this right here is the tens place, I'm essentially telling you how many ten dollar bills do I have if I have sixteen dollars and I'm doing it as I'm 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 doing it as efficiently as I can in a world without five dollar bills. I only have ones, tens and a hundreds and thousand dollar bills and so forth. And this is the ones. So when I write it this way, I'm literally telling you I have one ten dollar bill. And I have six $1 bills. That's what $16 is. And so when I have 7 plus 9 is equal to 16, I, I say that I have six $1 bills, and I have one $10 bill. And I add that one $10 bill to everything else in the tens space. And the tens place is essentially telling you how many, that's the tens. I'll write it like, I could write it like that, or I could write the tens place. The, when, when I have 67, 67 means I have six $10 bills plus another seven ones. So that's six tens, five tens. So I add up everything in the tens place. So one plus six plus five. Let me do that in a new color. One plus six plus five is equal to one plus six is seven. Seven plus five is 12. So I write the two. In the tens place, because remember, this is 12 $10 bills, right? Because we're in the tens place. So I have two in the tens place, and then I put the one, I carry this one right here into the hundreds place. Because if I have 12 $10 bills, I have $120. I have one $100 bill, and I have two $10 bills. And I'll, I'll stop going to the dollar bill analogy just so we can uh, make sure we understand the process. But I think you see how it, how it works. You start at the right, you add the two numbers up. If it's a two-digit answer, you carry the, the, the leftmost digit up to the next column, and you just keep doing that. So let's do this one right here. 1 plus 3 is 4. Let me write this down in another color. 1 plus 3 plus 4. 1 plus 3 plus 4. 1 plus 3 is 4, plus 4 is 8. So 1 plus 3 plus 4 is 8. Nothing to carry. It was a one digit number. And then finally, I have 9 plus 2. 9 plus 2. That's equal to 11. So I write the one down there, I write this one, and then if there was anything left here, I would carry the the tens or or the the other one, the one in the tens place in eleven. I would carry it, but there's nowhere to carry it to, so I write it down just like that. So nine thousand three hundred and sixty-seven plus two thousand four hundred and fifty-nine is eleven thousand eight hundred and twenty-six, and I just put that comma there because it's easier for me to read. Let me do a bunch more of these. Let's do a really a really daunting problem. Let's do something in the millions. Just to, just to show you that you can do any, any problem. So let's say we have 2,349,000 and 15. Let's throw a 0 in there, right? We have nothing in the hundreds place there. And I want to add that to, I'll switch colors just for fun. I want to add that to 7 million, 7 million, let's put a 0 there. 15,000 and 999. Let's add these two numbers. It seems 
like a hard problem, but if we just focus on each of the places, I think you'll find that it's not too bad. So we start off with 5 plus 9. 5 plus 9, that's equal to 14. Write the 4 down here, carry the 1. Then you go into the tens place. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 9, let me switch colors. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 9 is 11. Carry the 1. one now we're in the hundreds place. 1 plus 0 is 1, plus 9 is 10. So we write the 0 from the 10, carry the 1. Let me switch colors again. 1 plus 9 is 10. 10 plus 5 is 15. 15. Now we're in the 10 thousands place. 1 plus 4 is 5. And 5 plus 1 is 6. And there's nothing to carry. Now we're in the 100 thousands place. 3. We have nothing to carry, so we just have the 300,000 plus 0 hundred thousands. Well, that's just 300,000. And then finally, we're in the millions place. 2 million plus 7 million is 9 million, just like that. So we, yeah, this is a super crazy number. 2 million, 349,015 plus 7 million, 15,999, just by keeping track of our places and carrying the two digit numbers or the second digit in the two digit numbers as necessary we're able to figure out that the answer is 9,365,014 so hopefully this gives you a pretty good sense so let me just do one more just to really make sure that we we really understand how all of this carrying business works so let's do 15,999,000 and 1 plus 6,888,999. Let's just see how this one's going to turn out. This is this seems like a like a difficult problem, but once again, if we just focus and don't get lost, we're going to we're we're going to get the right answer hopefully. So 1 plus 9 is 10. Write the 0, carry the 1. 1 plus 0 plus 9 is 10. Write the 0, carry the 1. 1 plus 0 plus 9, that's 10 again. Write the 0, carry the 1. Now 1 plus 9 is 10, plus 8. 10 plus 8 is 18. Write the 8, carry the 1. 1 plus 9 is 10, plus 8 is 18. Write the 8, carry the 1. 1 plus 9 is 10, plus 8 is 18. Write the 8. Carry the 1. Now we're in the millions place. 1, plus, 1 million plus 5 million is 6 million, plus 6 million is 12 million. Write the 2 million and then carry the 1, because 12 million is 2 million plus 10 million. 10 million plus 10 million, right? This is 1 10 million plus another 1 10 million, right? That's 1 plus 1 is 2. And then we are done. 15,999,001 plus 6,888,999 is 22,888,000. So you know, you just saw we, we're just doing we're doing seven and eight digit number additions. But you could apply this if I had a number with a hundred digits in it. You could do the exact same thing. You just have to go start at the right. Go each column by each column, and then if you end up with a two-digit answer when you add the two-digit when you add the two one-digit numbers, you just carry the tens place. You just keep doing that and work your way left. And if you make no errors, you'll get the right answer.